the cool thing about VMware is that you're able to take a snapshot of the virtual machine at that particular point in time so you can revert back to it in case you screw up or make a mistake while you're changing settings. So I have a perfectly functioning Windows XP Professional installed here. It's already been um, registered with Microsoft. So I want to take a snapshot of this before I change any kind of settings on it. So in VMware Workstation, while I have this workstation selected, this virtual workstation selected, I'm select from the menu VM, and I'm going to select the snapshot option and take snapshot. This is where I can identify the name and description. So the name of this is going to be clean install, and the description is going to be clean install of XP after registration Microsoft. So there's my description, okay, and it says it will take the snapshot in the background, um, meaning that it will start to take the snapshot and record the information to disk. And down at the bottom left -hand corner, you can see it says saving state, ninety percent done. So what it's saying is while it's doing that, I can actually still work in here and make changes and do things. If I want to revert back to a snapshot, now that it's done, I can go up, so if I want to make a change, we'll change the IP address. So I'm going to go to properties of my TCP IP settings, and right now it's set to use the following IP address. I'm going to change it to obtain, hit OK. So right now it's set to obtain IP address automatically. And as you can see, it's trying to acquire an IP address. It'll probably fail because I don't have a DHCP server inside of my virtual host-only network at this point. So if I go to support, it says that I have an invalid IP address. Things aren't working. Well, this is minor. I can fix this, obviously. But if I'm freaking out and going, my computer's not working, it was working before, so what do I do? Well, I can revert back to my snapshot. So we'll wait here a second until it actually fails and gets the automatically assigned private network address, which is the 169.254 address. Should fail here in a minute now. I know. There it is. Alright, so there's my 169.254. This is automatically assigned private address that you get when there's no DHCP server around. So now my computer is messed up, it's not working, I need to revert back to a snapshot. So it's VM, snapshot, revert to snapshot. And it says, by restoring the snapshot, the current state will be lost. Do you want to restore it to clean install? Now, it's prompting me for the clean install snapshot because this is the only one I have. But if I had multiple snapshots, it would ask, which one of these do you want to restore from? And if you select snapshot, you can see them listed here with date and time. So you can also, not only is the description, but you also have the date and time that you can revert back to. So I said, yes, I want to revert back to this. So not only any assessment change, I might have added another hard drive, I might have given more RAM, I've done a bunch of different changes and things to the virtual machine that now it's going back and we're to the original state, which was configured, the, the host only work setting, all that stuff is now being reverted back to the point in time that I created that thing. It's a whole snapshot. This is done, now I should be able to click in here and I should see that I have a static IP address, 176.1.100. Just to make sure that it is a static IP, there it is. So everything got reverted back to the state of which it was. So I still have that snapshot here, if I take a look. See, it's still there. So if you go to Snapshot Manager, it actually shows you this is the snapshot that I created. So if I click on it, it gives me my description. It even shows me a nice little image of what it looked like at that time because it could be doing something. So that is how to use the basic snapshot function in 
VMware Workstation. 